at this. Am I right? All right. Which is the excess reactant? How much will be left over after it's complete? Uh, well, if you told me how much of one we had, okay, it's definitely gonna be nitrogen. Yay, nothing. What? Um, okay, so, doing some quick maths over here. Uh, I have an issue. So, guys, apparently I typed in 34.0, and that's wrong, because it's 34 exactly. But it's not her. Help me with these quick maps. Uh, no, uh, so 15.1 divided by 1. Point... Oh, hey, you should have seen it on the uh, on the camera. Like uh, calculus task, so fucking brutal. Well, if it if it's what you've given the question so far, it's 15.1 at the moment. Yes. Sorry, it's 15.1. Divided by three. Divided by one point zero zero eight. Are there any parentheses in location? It doesn't really matter. You can just divide it in any order you like. Actually, it would make a difference. Nah, as long as as long as the front runner is always the one you're gonna start the division by. That's why I'm saying. If I did the last two, then it would be. That's a 15 first, though. That's five. Yeah. Anyway. Global warming is okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, where does. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so it's about. I actually don't have access to hydrogen. So we can only, we can only do two point one. Uh, the second one is 34 divided by 14. Okay, these are completely different numbers than what you stated before. Yes. The first time you said because, 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 because there's, there's, two, there's, two point, there's two things in that. Okay, that, that's what I said. 15.1 divided by 3 is what you first said. Then it's divided by another number. I've already done the 15.1 divided by 3, which is 5.09 repeating, or 3 repeating. Yeah, I, I got yeah, I got about 5 on the first one, and then about 2.4 on the second one. And because the 2.4 is lower, that means the hydrogen is going to be the one that's left over. So are you doing uh, energetics of I ionic bonding? Is the, that's what the... Yeah, it's just stoichiometry. Okay, so this is not the right one either. Hello. Okay, I'm tired of looking. Okay. Produce... The advantage of having Ahari graduated college. <laughs> I don't know how, but I got like straight A's in like uh, science classes. Even though I kind of lazed about all of them. <sighs> we don't have that luxury here. I didn't cheat in mine, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I did. No, I like that. We, we have the luxury of having teachers that uh, kill people, basically. Except for on Halloween when we showed up as the Punisher, that was pretty funny. Oh, uh, 
Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write this off. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have how uh, much reaction is 2.4. We're gonna multiply all of this by the mass of the quantity. Think yeah. of my house frame. That's a lot of variables to figure out to figure out what his times he by. Start walking towards Marble Slab naked at you know n midnight next to McDonald's. Yeah, yeah I do that anyways. No, like like that that that, that legit happened to me a couple weeks ago. Like I was just like, at McDonald's eating my Big Mac and then the freaking dude outside like smoking something and then he just started like cussing out the mo a moon, started stripping off his clothes and walking towards Marble Slab. Yeah, it was great, it was great. Cause he was running, he ran off naked into the woods. Like, it was, it was, it was wonderful. I think I know what Frick's going to do next. <laughs> okay, so potassium hydroxide and phosphate acid react with potassium phosphate and water according to this equation. Determine starting mass the reaction. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I really, I, I really don't want to do that. I don't. Wait, okay. But I have to. <sighs> the answer is Q. <laughs> you mean, honestly? I've done enough to get at least a 50 on this. I could just turn it in right now and get a 50. Well, here's the thing. Uh, with one of my math features, I had a joke going with them. It's like, I can answer every single question you give me with the same answer and be right. He didn't believe me. I told him the answer is cute. Because... The letter is basically a. It can be any answer at any given point in time. Therefore, it's the answer of everything. Yeah, my teacher would accept that. He'd be like, okay, what set does it belong to? And I'd be like, okay, so the set of Q is uh, a subset of. Well, sorry. It's an integer of the subset of all natural numbers. Such Where that is Q is equal to the answer of the limited equation. 
and that, that that's be that would be how I'd give it to him. Otherwise, he wouldn't take it. Like, say for example, okay, here's a very hard or okay, this is gonna blow your mind. What is one plus two plus three plus four plus five? A number, that's right. But would you agree that if you keep adding on that enough H, you know, H uh, intervaling number going all the way to infinity, that you would get to infinity? No. Well, what if I told you if you add all the numbers from one to infinity? Get negative one twelve as the answer. How did this come to? Like that, that that's the that's the actual number for if you add all this up. That, that, that's the sum of the entire series. And it has it has a huge proof, but the proof is right. I think coffee has this because it doesn't seem to have a very output. I mean, I can understand if you said all the other numbers. Okay, starting at 1 and going to infinity. But if you add all the other numbers together... Sorry, right, na na natural numbers. Which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going up. That you I get a negative number. Yeah. If you add them all together. Yep. I, you get taken to the ass and you say, playing ass and infinity. So you go to the ass back down. No, nope. that, that's not how it works. It's much more complicated. Like, well, yeah, it's much more complicated than that. It actually took me a while to find. Uh, I gotta find it. What? That's an oof, man. That's a big oof. Out of a hundred, what 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 uh, 